We are here at the Novak Racetrack in Serbia. This is a track which we use to develop and test our driving coach. The driving coach is an autonomous driving system intended for supercars and for racetrack use. So basically the idea is you might have a supercar, but not necessarily the skills to use it properly. It coaches you to be a better driver when to brake, when to accelerate, when to turn in. So you have a personal coach which is learning all the time and can become as good as a Formula One driver, for example. Three years ago, we have started to build an AI team in the company to develop the driver coach. And since then, they are working like crazy to make this work. We pride ourselves to develop the hardware and the software for all the electronics in our cars on our own. But in the driver coach, we use actually an NVIDIA supercomputer to process the immense amount of data that we need to process to go really fast on a racetrack at a safe way. So we have our Kia Stinger car here. Uh, it's equipped with lots of sensors, with nine cameras, with, with radars. What we use is uh, stereo vision and visual odometry to exactly pinpoint where the vehicle is on the track and to understand the scenery around it. There were other cars before that were driving autonomously on the racetrack, but usually that was with GPS. This is something different where we can also avoid other vehicles, other obstacles. And basically the idea is that you can push the car to the limits of what the vehicle can do, but also to have some kind of guardian angel and that it helps you to stay within those limits once you become more trained and can use the limits of the car further. The system has been developed by our autonomous driving team and that team is being led by Sasha Vražić, uh, who is with us for the last three years working on the system. So Sasha, how is it so far? It's a crazy project and uh, we are progressing quite nice. So Sasha, what are the key building blocks of the system? Okay, so the first key building block is the perception. It detects the object in static or in motion at 300 km per hour. It is important to predict what will happen in half a second. A second part is the localization of the vehicle. That's why we are using a stereo vision system and multiple camera system rather than a GPS system, which is completely not accurate. A third block is the mapping block. So we need to have an idea of a track. We just need to make one or two laps on the track to, to know it and to able to use it. The fourth block is related to a guardian angel to keep the safety, is to monitor what driver is doing, how the vehicle is behaving, and uh, detecting, for example, if stress of a driver is too high, if he's not paying attention. How much data are you generating, I don't know, per second or per, per hour? Uh, six terabytes of data per hour. So it's not only collecting, uh, it's also processing, and that's why we're using a supercomputer that is able to process all this data. Welcome to Driver Coach Demo. Wow. Now relax and remember, every day is a journey, and today you live it to the fullest. It's not gentle. Keep close to the oh. right edge. Accelerate as you exit the corner on the left. Sasha, congratulations, man. First seconds, it's scary, but then you actually get confidence in the system. You can see there is some like uh, limit left. Uh, so you can see that the car controls itself, even in understeer and oversteer conditions. Like uh, it slides a little bit, but the system catches it. So incredible. Yeah. 